Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike. Today's fun fact is that you spend too much time looking at your phone and it's a problem. So what I've done is I've written a list of people and characters from TV shows and movies, some real, some animated, and I'm gonna say what they smell like or what I think they would smell like because I can't just tell you that I've smelled Gemma Collins before because I have it. That would be a lie. This is serious stuff. Am I qualified to do this? Yes, I took an IQ test this afternoon and I got 147, which apparently is genius level, but it was also a free IQ test, so I probably shouldn't believe it. But I will choose to because it said I'm a genius. So to start with, what do I smell like? Well, I smell like an overheating computer. And when I say overheating computer, I mean, so I'm 24 now, and let's take 16 years away from that, and I was eight in the primary school computer lab playing that stupid snowball maths game, right? And the computer would overheat, and the fans would go crazy, and then it smells like metal and plastic. That's what I smell like. Ed Sheeran smells like egg. That's just a given. And I don't mean like sulfurous egg, not like P.U. You smell that? That's Ed. Oh, what's that smell? That's Ed. No, I'm talking egg with shell. So maybe it smells like egg shell. You know what makes me really angry? When people describe different types of white and one of them is eggshell. Like, eggshells are different colours, you clown. Next we have Velma from Scooby-Doo. Velma from Scooby-Doo smells like paper, but like sophisticated cool paper. Like, whoa, I just time travelled to the Library of Alexandria and it's about to be on fire, but wait, these books, they smell so nice. That's what Velma smells like. Grimes smells like coins that have been in your hand for too long. So just imagine coins, that's one smell. Then imagine you've got $2.50 in coins in your hand and you're gonna go buy a soft serve. Give me the soft serve. And you have social anxiety, so you're sweating a lot and you're gripping those coins really tight and the line for the soft serve is actually quite long. So they've been in your hand for a while and then you end up paying and you're holding the ice cream and you're like, what is that smell? It's my sweaty coin hand. That's not a diss. I'm in fact saying that Grimes smells like money because she's successful. Scooby-Doo smells like cookie dough. Scooby-Doo smells like cookie dough. Gemma Collins smells like aggressive caramel candle. It's like having a job working 24 seven for two days on the trot. If you're Australian and you know what Peter Alexander is, every time you walk into Peter Alexander and it's like, wow. It's hell in there. It's horror. That's just like, boom like candle, like aggressive candle, but it still smells really good. So I'm imagining Gemma Collins smells like aggressive caramel candle. And in my head, that makes so much sense, right? She still smells fantastic, but it's like at first you're like, whoa, this is like a whole lot. And then you get used to it and you're like, how can I live without this? Sheriff Woody from Toy Story smells like beef. So next on my list, I've got Elsa. And I would say that Elsa smells like water and water doesn't really smell like anything, but then twerking Elsa, smells like ice. And in my previous experience, ice smells like whatever else is in the freezer. Michael Jordan smells like, um, sport. What does sport people smell like? Rubber, he smells like rubber. Yeah, no, he smells like a basketball, like rubber basketball, like hot basketball, like hot rubber, like a skid, right, in a car, and it's like, and then you smell it and you're like, I think I like that smell. Logan Lerman smells nice, I don't know, how else to describe how Logan Lerman would smell. I just cannot fathom him not smelling nice, right? It just, it just does not compute. Logan Lerman with face app gender transformation. So Miss Thing smells like, I would say, a chocolate scented makeup palette, maybe like an eyeshadow palette. Mr. Schuster smells like congealed dandruff. Let me set the scene, okay? You're going for a skateboarding lesson you want to be cool. Because skateboarders are very cool. Like, I don't know a single non-cool skateboarder. And you turn up to your lesson, but you forgot your helmet. And the instructor's like, luckily, we have a bunch of helmets, right? So then you use one of the helmets that's available, but you look inside it and you're like, holy shit, there's so much dandruff in here. And then you put the helmet on and the dandruff goes on your head. And because you're working hard, you're sweating. That's what Mr. Schuster smells like. Blank stare. Alison De Laurentiis from Pretty Little Liars smells like soil from the garden and wet soil at that. She smells like soil in the first couple of weeks of winter when you've just planted your spring onion. Michael from the Lost video game on PS3. He smells like pink Himalayan sea salt. Tom Nook from Animal Crossing smells like pistachios. 
I think it's a very telling personality trait if you like pistachios and if you eat a lot of pistachios, right? My dad eats a lot of pistachios and that's not shade, but I'm like, that's such a thing for my dad to do, to watch Seinfeld and eat pistachios. So if there was some update on Animal Crossing where they did a pistachio event and Tom Nook was doing the MC of the pistachio event, I really would not be surprised. That would honestly make so much sense. I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually made of pistachios, which explains why he smells like pistachios. Lady Gaga smells like wine mixed with Coke, right? room temperature coke because it's sangria. It's a hack. Mix wine with coca-cola and it makes sangria. Claire from the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen smells like chai, like tea leaves, or a chai latte. But not the chai latte that's shit. You know how you get like chai latte powder? That's bad, it's full of sugar. But then if you go to a really nice cafe and they actually have the chai leaves and shit and they put in that little strainer thing into the tea, that's like legit and that's what Claire smells like. Jenna Marbles Jenna Marbles's. Jenna Marbles's dog Kermit smells like coffee water because he's just very high energy. Congratulations on turning 10. My friend Hannah smells like fresh band aid. In my humble opinion, the color orange smells like burnt hair. What actually came first, orange or the color orange? This photo of me from 2009 also smells like beef. I smell like beef. I know I said that Woody from Toy Story smells like beef, but I think that's accurate. And this is also accurate. So actually revision, Woody looks like dried beef or jerky perhaps. And this picture of me from 2009 looks like I smell like beef and I liked to eat. So there's a possibility I had beef not long before or after this photo was taken. Harry Styles, okay, let me set the scene. I am at the second most expensive gym chain in Melbourne out of like four or something, right? The number one most expensive gym chain, that shit is expensive, expensive, expensive. And I imagine that all the rich people go to the expensive gym and they would have rich people perfumes. So I would say that Harry Styles smells like expensive change room where all the expensive colognes are mixed because everyone's like, tss, tss, gotta go to my date at this really expensive restaurant because I have a social life, because I don't have a YouTube channel. Kathy from Dance Mums, or more specifically from Candy Apples, I would say that she smells like a puzzle, right? A puzzle that's been in the cupboard for a while, but it's still like a really fun puzzle. Controversially, that brings me to the end of this video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and head over to my podcast channel and subscribe to that. I'll be uploading a new episode tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out and bye. It's Christmas, hence, therefore, let's go home, QED. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.